Hey team, it's Dr. George here and an interesting article has just been published where a sex on premise venue in Sydney is using a thermometer to check people before they go into the sauna with the tagline, the only sauna to reject you if you're too hot. Now, this is an interesting one. We're worried about Corona. This is why they're doing it. They're checking people's temperature. If they have a fever, they're not allowed into the sauna. So how is corona transmitted? We know that it's transmitted through close contact with a person who is suffering with the illness. Um, this is spread through um, virus that is either spread through coughing or sneezing that is inhaled into the body or those droplets that land onto a surface. You then touch the surface and that if that goes into your mouth, your eyes or someplace like that um, enters the body, then that can be transmitted that way. So let's put that into the context of a sex on premise venue. People close together, yes, that's absolutely gonna be happening there. People breathing air in a, in a very close proximity together, yes. Sex can lead to, well, heavy petting can lead to sex. Um, so from a transmission perspective, if a person was unwell and went to a sex on premise venue, I think the risk of transmission is, in the context of what people do inside the venue, is a bit higher. Um, we know that Australia-wide, they are closing down events where people will be in tight proximity together, i.e. crowds at a concert, crowds at um, major events. There's no difference to the crowds that can be sometimes seen in a busy steam room or, or video room in a sex on-premise venue. We do talk about uh, social distancing as a way of reducing this. We know that if you stay one to two meters away from a person who is coughing, the chances of those droplets landing in your direction is significantly lower. So I'm gonna have to put this one into your court, but you need to decide what level of risk you're willing to take, i.e. Um, are you, do you have the understanding that if somebody goes to a sex on premise venue when they're unwell, that the risk of transmission is probably higher than in other situations? Does taking temperature eliminate the risk of people being unwell in a venue? No. Does it reduce the risk? Probably. There's a good chance that if you don't have a fever, you don't have the coronavirus, but we know that these symptoms tend to, like fever, tends to show two to 14 days after exposure. So very early on, you may not yet have a fever. So yeah, I will leave it in your hands. If you do attend a sex on premise venue, um, clean your surf, like clean surfaces, clean your hands and consider um, social distancing, which I think is somewhat unrealistic in the setting of a sex menu right so just some thoughts but I kind of wanted like I think there's no point pussyfooting around this and we need to be aware if we're closing venues where people are going to be tightly packed together you need to consider your own risk when it comes to a sex on premise venue have a great day see you guys